Ya, berat ya guys ya, sangat berat bila membahas, bila melihat video seperti ini. Antara Indonesia dan Malaysia, kita lihat apa yang terjadi pada video ini guys. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Berjumpa lagi bersama saya di sini Indra SFN dan selalu saya menyapa Anda semua di sana. Semoga kita semuanya dalam keadaan baik-baik saja yang sakit agar lekas dapat disembuhkan dan yang sehat agar tetap da dapat menjaga kesehatannya setiap saat terutama di bulan suci Ramadan ini. Semoga amal ibadah puasa kita diterima oleh Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Amin amin ya robbal alamin. Oke, di sini ada cerita yang menarik lagi guys ya, yang sangat layak untuk kita angkat pada video kali ini. Nah, ini ada dua orang Pengakuan dari dua orang, yang satu orang Malaysia, yang satu orang Indonesia. Ya, pengakuan mereka ini bagaimana kelebihan dan kekurangan dari negara mereka masing-masing. Ya, orang Malaysia akan mengedukasi negaranya, orang Indonesia juga akan mengedukasi negaranya di depan ramai orang-orang Eropa yang menyaksikan. Nah, sangat unik ya guys ya, mereka akan mengedukasikan negara mereka masing-masing di depan orang-orang Eropa dan apa yang terjadi, apa yang dikatakan oleh orang Malaysia terhadap negaranya dan juga orang Indonesia terhadap negaranya. Sebenarnya ini bukan video perbandingan ya guys ya. Berat saya ingin mereaksi video ini ya, tapi dengan rasa penasaran saya apa saja yang dikatakan oleh orang Indonesia dan Malaysia. Memang berat untuk saya saksikan guys ya, tapi karena rasa penasaran saya yang begitu tinggi, langsung saja kita mereaksi video itu guys ya. Apa saja yang mereka katakan di depan orang-orang Eropa itu. Oke, tanpa banyak bahasa apa sih, sebelum kita mereaksi video itu, alangkah baiknya bagi anda yang belum support, silahkan kalian subscribe dulu guys ya. Dukung dulu channel ini dengan mengklik tombol subscribe dan aktifkan notifikasi bel agar tidak ketinggalan update video terbaru dari channel ini. Dan langsung saja kita mereaksi video itu, jom! It's one of our proud achievements <laughs> as Malaysians. I think it's very hard to find a spoon and fork in the household. I do see like they eat really skillful with the hand. Mm. Well, you're gonna hold your plate like this, and you're gonna sit like this. <laughs> when I think of these countries, I I think about nature and like pretty beaches and yeah, beautiful nature and vacation <laughs> and food delicious food and friendly people indonesia is one of the most populated countries yeah mm. 150 million people it's crazy yeah korean like drama or like song yeah the fans come from indonesia that's what wow. i know yeah oh <laughs> A lot of people. I've experienced this really? because I've been to Indonesia. Ah. I had this in Jakarta. Terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world. I think we're also getting close with almost 300 million. We have like five uh, main islands and Java is where the Jakarta located. Jakarta is our capital. And I think... Oh no. The, yeah, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for now, you know about our country. Well, okay. So yeah, even the ja the, ja the Java Island alone, it has also one fourth of the population. I think more than 50 million people there. The traffic jam. A lot of people also use motorbike. So it's very crowded. It's very populated. So even me, I don't really like Jakarta. <laughs> because I live in very far from Jakarta. It's two hours with the plane. So. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, and then the next one is Indonesia has the highest number of active volcanoes in the world. I think we experience at least one earthquake every day. I mean, it's not like big, big earthquake, but there's always an earthquake. I mean, yeah, if you know the ring of the fire, like Japan, Philippines, all the country that has a lot of earthquakes, we also experience a lot of earthquakes. Yeah. I think at least in one island, there's at least one volcano, like active volcano. Do people actually live nearby the volcano areas? Yeah, I mean, there's that's also... This is Bromo? Yeah. Oh, you know I Bromo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, this is like Bromo Mountains. Even like this mountain, it's also part of the tourism spot, like the travel spot. I, myself, like my Malaysian friends, they visit uh, Indonesia. The picture are really good. Yeah. You will know it's actually Indonesia, which is a surprise. Mm -hmm. And then another fun fact that I think most, almost like to 
100 million Indonesians are living within the 100 kilometer of the volcano radius. Sometimes we're just like very, you know, brave. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like in schools like things to back away? Like, do you, it's common to you? We should learn that, but then school never really thought about that. So oh. whenever there's an earthquake, we just run, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, really yeah similar. quite similar in that sense. Another fun fact that I think Indonesian culture is the meals are always like consumed in company like together with other people. Also, we would sit on the floor to eat and then we use our hands to eat. Mm. Even if it's rice, we use our hands to eat the rice. African culture, yeah. they also do that, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's very hard to find a spoon and fork in the household. Also, oh. very hard to find. Even if you have the table, you're gonna hold your plate like this, and then you're gonna sit like this. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can get a little demonstration, like we can order some food now, and... I do see like they eat really skillful with the hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rice must be hard to eat with the hand. Uh, but I think yeah, our rice is kind of like very sticky, so ah, it's, okay. it's kind of easy to like mm. hold it. Yeah. And then it's always topped with some curries, and then that's why it's bound together easily. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Indonesia also has over 1,300 ethnic groups and then 700 local languages spoken. So yeah, I think because we have like 17 islands, so I think each island also has their ethnic group. Also like every island also speak another languages that we might cannot understand at all. You cannot understand wow. between the islands? For example, like the Java Island, they have their own language, like the Javanese. And then I am from another island, so I cannot understand. But you have like a common language also? It's Indonesian. Oh yeah. Indonesian is our official language, and then they have their own... Uh, Alex? Yeah, That's also, like and then another lo language spoken. Like, it's very different from Indonesian. Can you guess where someone is from? Just by the way they speak, like by their dialect? Very hard, but then we can guess from their dialect, like their accent, when they speak Indonesian. And then, yeah, Indonesia is the world largest Muslim majority country. We have like five religions in our country, but like the most popular religion is Muslim. I think more than 80% of the population are Muslim. Does that mean it's really hard to find like pork dishes and stuff? Yeah, it's the population mostly are Muslim, so all the food has to be in the halal certificate. So if you want to find like something like pork, you need to go to Bali because Bali is Hindu. Mm. All the population there are Hindu. How about alcohol and tobacco? Alcohol? I think I've never seen any alcohol in. Really? Yeah, really? But then. Also, fun fact that we have our religion in our ID. Oh. So that's the thing. You have to choose one religion before you turn 80. It's just for the citizenship. And then you can never change? Like what religion are you? It very depends on the your parents. So if your parents both are Muslim, so you're gonna... Okay, you're Muslim. But then <laughs> there's a lot of people that say that, oh, I'm Muslim, but then they don't do all the Muslim stuff because it's a mandatory to choose the religion because our motto like the country motto it's like religion is very the number one something that you live for yeah mm. so you have to choose up among of that five like religions I think every religion also has their own specific culture of their Muslims in my island it has like half half of muslim and hindu <laughs> and then in bali there's i think 90 percent of the people there is hindu so it's not like all the regions are muslim but only specific regions are muslim yeah i think it's kind of diverse in a lot of like places as well you can yeah. choose yeah malaysia yeah. <laughs> like malaysia share kind of like similar culture with Indonesia, but we are not totally the same. So let's see what we have today. <laughs> um, not sure if you guys know, like, um, of course, this is we practice our uh, democracy um, through election, but we do have monarchy system as well. Mm. Oh, so that's me. that means we have king. <laughs> Like so, a lot of countries in Europe have king. Oh, you know? well, I think I think like it comes from there as well. Like because we were like colonized by like 
Britain before. Like in Malaysia, there's like 13 states, but only nine states remain having like king. We call Sultan. Sultan. That's a name for it. We call Sultan. And then like every Sultan, uh, they get rotated, it become the king of the king. So and then the name is called Agong. So every Agong, you can remain in the position for five years. The power is limited because we are still governed by the federal government and also like um, like the state's government as well. So it rotates the parties that govern the man and also it rotates the king? Uh, yes, the king is like by themselves within the, the, the systematic uh, rotation. So it's like a family? Uh, yes, the best family. Each state have the royal family. And then who become the king of the state? And then uh, there's nine. So every five years they take turn. So yeah, but how they really take turn, we don't know because it's among them. Is it like a lottery? Okay. <laughs> I heard that back then it was like who's older, seniority first. Oh. Mm, this is one of our agong, and then the other one is our prime minister. I know like you guys have the impression of like our country is full of beaches, full of like trees, but in the cities we have a lot of highways. Like for me, I live kind of like away from the city center. If I want to drive to the city, it's like two hours of traffic jam as well. Every day, back and forth, it's like four hours commuting. So the length of the highway that we have in the country, like statistically, like around 65,000 kilometers, which is longer than the whole circumferences of the earth. Wow. So I didn't know my country has that many highways <laughs> until today. But yeah, I'm surprised to know that as well because I really hate driving because of that. <laughs> what the audience doesn't know, we actually have a teleprompter here, nervous <laughs> laughter. But yeah, like I think like nowadays Malaysia are uh, trying to go to into the direction of like how the landscape of Bangkok look like, like a lot of tier kind of highways. Yeah. Ah, do you know who is? Yes. Oh, Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo. But Jimmy Choo is um, Malaysian. Yeah. Yes, he is from one of the state called Penang. I think they claim the oh, Jimmy Choo Award yeah. from something Malaysia, like that. I guess. I'm not too sure about the specific name, but Jimmy Choo is from Malaysia, which is one of thing or person that we proud of. Yeah, because it's something that goes internationally known. He's from our country. <laughs> also, the famous actress Michelle Yeoh. Oh, she's oh, Michelle is from Malaysia. Oh, ini saya yeah, tahu nih guys. She went to Hong oh, Kong ini, to start ini um, artis her international ya. Yeah. Um, career and then from there on he went to Hollywood. So Michelle Yu, yeah. our proud achievement <laughs> <laughs> as Malaysian as well. This is the nature that you guys talk about. I myself also oh, don't know. Media, yeah. So in Malaysia, there's two uh, separated land. One is Peninsula, it's West Malaysia. One is island, which is close, uh, connect to Indonesia as well, and Brunei as well. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. Borneo and Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. So Borneo, Malaysia is like the, the East Malaysia. We have a lot of cave and nature in that state, Sarawak. And Sarawak Cave Chamber is the largest cave in the world. Oh. I didn't know it so. <laughs> uh, how big it is, it can be described by having like, you know, Boeing, like the flight, the plane. We have 747, the, the, the model, can have 40 Boeing 747 line up in the cave without them touching the, their wing. Wow, okay. that's big. Um, there are more different kind of like caves as well there, so different na like different nature of cave. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Worth seeing. And Twin Tower, anyone has any idea about Twin Tower? <laughs> I've seen it in many pictures and in Pinterest. <laughs> it's one of our identity internationally as well. Uh, it used to be the tallest building. Uh, until 2004, that other like taller building comes out, like the Dubai one. And then, the, if you can see the sky bridge, currently it's still the uh, highest sky bridge between two buildings in the world. Ooh. It's still currently the tallest twin tower in the world as well. And these are mostly office actually. Ooh. People walk inside, a lot of people go there to take photos, so if you ever visit, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> I can contact me as well. <laughs> But it's like crazy because it's like you see a picture and it's so hard to imagine how big these things are. When you said yeah, like yeah, with yeah. the planes, you know, wings are touching, I was like, oh, it looks like it's big, but that big? It's, like, it's so hard to imagine. Like just looking at the pictures. When you look up, it's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me when I, whenever I go to work. But um, during our like national day, they will have like some light show that shows the, the flag 
uh, onto the the twin tower. So it's really beautiful oh, there. I think like other than like this kind of like um, buildings or landmark, what I suggest is the food. Yeah, mm -hmm. the food. Yeah, because there's a lot of culture, there's a lot of ethnicity within the countries itself. Yeah. The food there is very diverse as well. Give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> I think our country will always fight each other. Like yeah, because like we share similarities. Yeah. Sometimes and then we always we claim each other. Yeah, so it, it's similar <laughs> but different. We also like speak very different. similar. Yeah, similar yeah. language. Like, it's very different, but then also very similar. I can understand a little bit of Indonesian because yeah. we speak Malay in our country as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, it, it, it was like quite different, like from all the explanations you gave mm -hmm. today. I feel like, yeah, there are similar similarities, but it's definitely different. Yeah. yeah. Today, I share some fun facts about Indonesia and Malaysia to our European friends here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and also subscribe. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Dan guys ya, sebenarnya berat ya guys ya, sangat berat bila membahas, bila melihat video seperti ini. Antara Indonesia dan Malaysia, kita lihat apa yang terjadi pada video ini guys. Yaitu sudah dibahas antara orang Indonesia yang membahasnya, membahas negaranya, dan juga orang Malaysia yang membahas juga negaranya guys ya. Ternyata memang ada terlihat sedikit kemiripan namun lebih cenderung banyak perbedaan ya guys ya. Nah di sini guys ya, memang setiap Negara itu memiliki identitasnya, memiliki karakternya, memiliki keunggulan dan juga kekurangannya. Nah di sini guys, kalau kita bahas tentang negara Indonesia terlebih dahulu di, dikatakan ada banyak sekali suku etnis ya, budaya ya ada 700 lebih bahasa menurut saya bu bukan 700 tapi lebih daripada itu ya guys ya. Karena banyak sekali bahasa yang ada di Indonesia ini termasuk 1500 pulau yang terdata. Ini belum yang tidak terdata ya, masih pulau yang terdata saja. Nah ini menimbulkan satu keberagaman ya menjadi satu puncak pemerintahan ya negara kesatuannya itu adalah Republik Indonesia. Jadi kalau di Indonesia itu berbeda-beda etnis, budaya, bahasa, kebudayaan, kelestarian semua dalam satu pemerintahan. Dalam negara kesatuan yaitu adalah Republik Indonesia. Nah itu guys. Nah kalau Malaysia tadi dikatakan ada negara banyak eh, raja dan juga sultan. Tadi. Dan yang paling uniknya adalah satu... Uh, ini ya guys ya, temuannya itu adalah gua terbesar di dunia Wow, bahkan tadi ada uh, kalau diperkirakan masuk satu pesawat itu uh, Besar dari gua itu bahkan tidak menyentuh dari sayap-sayap pesawat yang masuk ke dalam gua tersebut guys ya Betapa besarnya gua itu ya, jadi layak ya Ada banyak uh, kelebihan, ada banyak ke kekayaan alam yang dimiliki oleh kedua negara yang dikelola masing-masing Dan karakter itu tentu akan menambah warisan budaya kita untuk menarik Uh, turis asing yang datang ke negara kita ya guys ya termasuk negara Malaysia bila dia tahu ada gua terbesar di dunia itu ada di Malaysia pasti mereka penuh dengan penasaran dan semangat untuk datang ke gua itu melihat secara langsung dan menelusuri apa yang ada di dalamnya guys ya karena warisan seperti ini tentu harus sangat dijaga dan dilestarikan guna untuk kelangsungan hidup cucu, anak cucu ya guys ya agar mereka juga tidak kehilangan jejak dari tradisi itu Oke okay guys, demikian tadi video aku. Semoga video ini bermanfaat bagi kita semua dan aku mohon diri. Mohon maaf jika ada kesalahan dan kekurangan. Dan aku akhiri. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.